races included. I don't plan to do anything too crazy. I I'm wanting to have a little fun this time around. I'm thinking a classic uh, human. We, we, ain't, we don't really need all this. We're trying to get to the meat and potatoes of the whole adventure. And I'll, I'll tell you right now, I'm going to be adjusted. It, whatever the world is, what I, what I know from this world and experience that's about to happen, it's going to be a frost land controlled with some giants, but there's still a civilization in a medieval era. We're trying to make our way through it, and I figure considering it sounds like a depressing landscape, I'm going to be Scrap the Jester, who's going to hopefully be able to tickle my way through and pinch some bums and maybe spread some joy throughout the land. Uh, factions, uh, fair folk, a mischievous group. I like it. All right. Where are we going to start? Just give me somewhere that's uh, not too sad sounding. Auburn, that sounds like a medicine. That has one vowel in it, a uh, two, okay, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, oh, wait, maybe. No, no. Beautiful Garden City. <laughs> Classy man. All right. <laughs> Scrap the gestures right at it. Oh, my gosh. Am I too quiet, ladies and gentlemen? I had no clue. Thanks for the update. Let's see if I can crank my, crank my business. How about this? Uh, apologies if you're having a mess with the... How, how's this, huh? Huh? Feed me a little something, chat. Because I'm, I'm wanting to dive right into this, but also I don't want to have to like be whispering into your ears. I want this to be a very... A very not... Oh, beautiful, beautiful. That's all I needed. Thanks, Lou. Out of water. We're going to just have to tackle it head on. All right. See, th that's what I mean when I say kind of like iffy on the whole um, joy throughout the sky that seems to be a ice castle and just depressing wasteland all right and we're off to the story let me let me shrink this down a little bit so we can just kind of and in involve our entirety into the story for Armia is an ancient world of myth and magic the world has been locked in eternal winter since the arrival of the wicked fae called the snow queen and her army of ice giants. The few, oh wait, you know what, maybe I should, maybe I should turn off the uh, video capture for like a little bit of a pinch more immersion for it, you know? You don't, you, you don't stare into the storyteller's eyes while they're getting at it, you know what I mean? You're kind of like imagining it all. So close your eyes if you have to. The few survivors hide in scattered villages, beset by the raiding parties of the Snow Queen's minions. You are scrap. A human jester. More than anything else, you love to cause chaos. When the Snow Queen arrived, her arrival has caused the entire world to become more chaotic after having so much order in your life. You notice that any conflict between two living things will cause them to be frozen. Often you bring a friend along when you take action so they can spread the chaos as well. I, I, I don't know what faction I picked. I, I'm, I, I don't know why it's making me sound so evil. You remember the first time you used this power in an unconventional, unconventional way. Okay, well, not exactly the way I want. I don't know what tunes are playing, but uh, we're, we're, we're gonna need some like good atmospheric jazz. I'll, I'll have the lineup ready for us next time, but. I guess we're gonna have to hop to it, boys and girls. So, um, let's, uh, find the closest tavern. I know there's a lot of intensity going on, but I, I have an idea. So, uh, as we're kind of chilling here, I imagine, uh, you leave the village through a secret back way and set out on the search for the nearest tavern. I'm gonna say, uh, Talk to myself while I walk and eagerly. Uh, no, 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 no. While I skip, yes, we gotta bring merriment and eagerly sing silly songs about ice. 
There we go. Yes, I, I'm just prancing along. Hopefully, uh, uh, no, don't slip or anything. It takes nearly the entire day to reach your destination. You enter the tavern and begin scoping out the scenery for anyone that looks like they might join you. All right, this, this about the this is about the best scenery we can kind of have. All right, um, uh, count. No, no, no. Oh, better, better yet. Walk up to the barkeep. Oh, I, I like what Remy Loner. I just start singing "Ice Ice Baby." That would have been beautiful. Okay, I walk up. All right, why is it? I do it three times. I'm just like double taking. I'm freezing in spot. The barkeep is a burly man with a dark red beard. He has crazed look in his eyes, as if he is constantly being driven to do something he can't stop himself from doing. Ho ho! Ah, uh, well, let's lighten this uh, dude's day up a little bit. You know, um, we're gonna do yank the bar tent. Is it, is it barkeep, bartender, barkeep? Ah, here we go. Barkeep's bid and say yoink. I, I think that I think that'll go over well. You know, kind of like show him I'm a goofer, I'm a gaffer. He looks at you, his eyes wide open in surprise. He slaps your hand away. You fall over. No. Hey, what the hell, boy? I could have killed you for doing that. All right. We find ourselves in our first pickle. Ah, uh, this is a tough one. Uh, imagine we're going to have to do a... Uh, is it somersault? Is that, is that as it's, like, actually pronounced and said? Oh, wow, it is. Do a somersault onto my feet. And tell the barkeep I'm I'm uh, just having a little fun. Oh boy! Let's see how that let's see how that lands over. Um, imagining at this point, everyone seems very depressed. Huh. You've got quite the set of balls on you, boy. Hey, you know what? We're, uh, we're winning them over with the, the charm and maybe potentially good looks. I like that. What can I do for you? I'm looking for some people to have fun with. Uh, it, kind of, it kind of passively added that, but you know what? It fits the character. Um, Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm just gonna press enter and kind of let it roll out real quick. I don't know. What, it it kind of shows what's safe for me. I, I'm thinking we can kind of just let the fluidity punch the fan. Well, this is a tavern. People come here to drink and have fun. What kind of fun are you looking for? Twist the bar keeps nipples and. <laughs> wink is I I don't know <laughs> I, I mean it, <laughs> oh no I love this uh, oh you like that do you <laughs> all right I can do that too <laughs> he yanks your nipples and you hop up and down until he said I don't I don't like where this is going I don't like where this is going slap the bar keeps hands and off you. Uh, this is not what I wanted. I was just trying to, trying to be like a little brother annoying and got into some weird kinky stuff. Off you. And ask, or no, no, uh, uh, go find a seat to mentally recover. Yeah, but we'll, uh, we'll, uh, Oh yeah, what are you doing in that situation? When you you you. All right, you. He picks you up by your shirt collar, 
and sits you in a nearby chair. I didn't, I didn't want him to do it. Sit here and don't move. I'll be back to take your order, sir. I mean, hey. I, I would like to put, like, give five star help. I, I, don't, I don't think, I don't know if that would register too well in this little adventure. So, um, uh, look around for someone to join me for dinner. Hopefully, we can find someone who's uh, less burly and bearded. Someone we, we, we can uh, maybe have joined the circus together, kind of like being a, a what, what is it when you travel, a tra traveling circus? I feel like there's a thing for it, like a caravan. I feel like Dumbo was in it. They all had like the carriages, caravans, the wheels. What, what, why do I have to mention wheels? I feel like I'm just so scatterbrained right now. You spot a very large man who seems like he's always looking around for something to kill. This, what is the, what's the name of this tavern? Why is it so just like full of the worst kind of, well, you know what? I wouldn't be doing my job if everyone was already happy. So, hey, you go up and talk to the him. Hello? Huh? Hello? Or wait, let me, let me give, uh, should, should it be like nasally or like, yeah, yeah. Hello? Uh, hello. Uh, here we go. Let's, uh, I'm scrap, uh, uh, scrap. Wanna play a game? My, my friend is, uh, hopefully uh, I'm a little scared noticing how oh oh you're Scrooge <laughs> no he must have misheard me I don't know if like the ta the we got like some tavernous music playing or something where you could I've heard about you you and your friend have been having lots of fun lately fucking everything up for everyone else around here okay I don't uh, is he referring to the bartender being my friend? If so, I'm I'm glad nipple twisting can bring two people from far backgrounds so close together. But either way, I need to I, I need to just get to the point here because he, he's kind of stepping on my uh, clown shoes or like the shoes with the bells if I have them. So, uh, if he keeps it up, well, I might have to do something a little reckless. What's your name? What's your name? Well, hopefully it's like, yeah, yeah, whatever, we got I'm Bolt, a mercenary, and you don't need to know anything else about me. All right, Bolt, do you want to have fun? I, I like that, I'm just going to keep it going, it's, a, it's replying for me. <laughs> It's a, it's a, it tells its own story. It learns so well. Do I want to have fun? Well, yeah. Sure I do. Everyone wants to have fun, kid. Great. Just follow my lead. Oh. <laughs> lead Bolt. Into the nearest alley. What? Alleyway. Promising to show him a cool magic trick. See, I like to reciprocate. You help. You, you take out your dagger and hold it to his throat. <laughs> Don't move or I'll cut your throat ear to ear. Well, hey, you know what? I I kind of had something like that in mind, but it's, it's reading my mind at this point. I just, when it, when it takes, I don't know what to type when it, to, when it just uh, takes my lead away from me. Don't move. 
Don't move or I'll cut you ear to ear. Cut. Bolt's face a little to show him you aren't messing around. All right. You draw blood and Bolt lets out a yell. Shut up! You want everyone to hear us? Bolt nods his head. You put a f you. You put your finger to your lips. I, I'm like a sadistic clan. Oh, here we go. I am the Joker. We live in a society. I hate myself. Why did I take this path? I definitely... Shh! Oh, wait, who's... He's... Uh, all right. Uh, whisper loudly then. Oh, no, I say shh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't, I don't know. I'm not playing your stupid game. I'm not afraid of you, and I'm not joining your stupid gang. Uh, I, I think that's him saying that. I He shushed me. Okay, we're having a little bit of dialogue issues, so, um... Acting like the jokester. Oh, I don't want to capitalize. I might think I'm a something. Jokester, I am. Stab him in the chest several times. I told you you're going to need the sponges ready and a fresh pair of pants. You continue stabbing both in a frenzy, although he doesn't seem to die. Is this real or just a dream? I don't know. This whole stream just feels like a, a rust fever dream. Um, okay, uh. Uh, keep... Dabbing until the light leaves Bolt's 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 eyes. See, the great part about having a fairly, like, I would say dead or empty chat, kind of like I don't have anyone to go like, hey, uh, giving me moral compass direction. Uh, you stand over Bolt's corpse. Covered in blood. What the f... What the... I love it. What's a... I, um... What the fuck did you do? You turn around and... Oh, wait, no, it's the barkeep. My bad. Uh, what the... What the fuck did you do? You turn around and see the barkeep standing in the alleyway. It's... It's my friend. I can't... It's... There we go. I... Uh, it's not what it looks like. I can explain. He fell onto my knife. You know I wouldn't hurt a fly. Out. Out. Uh, nipple twisting excluded. I is that too much of a defense or complicate? Uh, you know what? I don't know his, I don't know the barkeep's name, but that seems to be what. It oh, no, no, come on, buddy, friend. Shut up, you're coming with me. Oh, all right, no problem. You follow the barkeep into his office. Hey, kind of bougie for a tavern. He sits down and motions for you to do the same. Shake. Um, shaking. Uh, no, 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 no. We, we got to keep it calm. Ask the barkeep for his name. To keep 
him distracted from the murder. All right. As long as it doesn't project the fact that I've distracted him, I think we'll be fine. Why do you want to know my name? So I can address you correctly. Huh. <laughs> but I'm the fucking Baron of Bealswater. You can call me Sir, and plenty already do. Okay. Uh, I've... He's a Baron, working in a tavern. Uh, but I'll, I'll follow him up with a classic. Um, yes, sir. There we go. Kind of pleasing to the audience. What do you think about that? Uh, hopefully we can make this... He can be our friend. We can spread some... Shut the fuck up! All right. I'll tell you my name. It's Stain. Um, uh, nice to meet you, sir. I'm Scraps. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Look at... Look at that, we're getting along. He, I'm the, he's, a, he's the Baron of Bilgewater working at a barkeep. Calling him Sir. His name's Stain. It's kind of an ugly town. Uh, I don't know which which way we should go. It's it's a dark, de, uh, decrepit town. I don't know how we're going to make people happier by uh, talking to Stain. Um, let's ask him. Uh, ask Stain. Why, ev why everyone is so gloomy here? Well, I, I'm I'm asking him after I shanked a man in an alley and was saying I was the Joker. So, like, I can understand the environment kind of producing people like this, but uh, you haven't been around much, or the hell would I? Would anyone be happy here? Don't know. Just asking. This place is filled with miserable cunts because this place fucking sucks. I, I, for my first stream, maybe I should have like put it on a um, the not the the safer work kind of. Oh, that's it. Um. Okay. Let's, um, throw confetti on his, yeah, 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 reach, yeah, yeah, there we go, reach into my pockets of wonder and throw and pull out a handful. I, I, want, I want it to be well displayed. A handful of confetti. There we go. And toss it in the air to lighten the mood. Bam! Shut the fuck up and get out of here. You leave immediately. Fellas! <laughs> I'll, I'm gonna be honest, my quest is not going... at all... Uh, the way I would hope. It's, um... going quite sadly. Oh, um... Here we go. Whisper... Dark thoughts... To myself, can try and convince myself not to stab again. If I can't make them happy, I I go cry, I go a little kooky. Uh, it's like bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls, like if it was rated R. You sit in the corner of your room. And start trying to convince yourself of all the reasons you shouldn't kill others. Um. Think about Stain. 
and <laughs> and how he lifted you off the ground. Only, only <laughs> using your nipples. Wait, I don't know if that's right. Just can only using your nipples. <laughs> He's lo Scraps losing his mind. <laughs> There's no sane thoughts. Oh, oh, is someone in the room? Am I talking? He must be a pretty strong guy. Guy. Even if he didn't seem that muscular. Maybe, maybe, maybe he has magic. Maybe I should ask him if I can learn some magic. Oh, yeah. I'm doing some straight golem shit right now. Here we go. Stand up. And. Uh. Uh, in a frantic, no, in a, yeah, yeah, a frantic day's search for stain the barkeep. Which, hold on, before I do this, I know, um, an important thing to do is if you want something kind of memorized you kind of like for, for the uh, bot you're kind of like supposed to just kind of add it to a memory log I don't, just because I, I want stain to still kind of be the same dude we'll figure it out it might not work I, I'm just going crazy running through the snow you go to the tavern looking for the barkeep you find him cleaning a glass and call out to him hey stain what do you want I'm busy Throw my knife at the glass he is cleaning and scream, you, you missed a spot. Bam! Comedy right there. Comedy right there. What are you going to do? Seeing your knife stain screams in terror. You laugh at him until you realize until he realizes you aren't throwing your knife at him. Well, wait, am I not throwing my knife at him? What the fuck are you doing throwing knives at me? Wait, I, hold up. Um I, I I'm kind of missed on that one. Um I'm about, I'm going to say stain uh, um, this is where I get seriously sane for like a straight m minute here. I'm sorry. I've lost my mind. Oh crap. Here we go. Poor Stain. He just, he's just trying to run a decent tavern. And uh... Oh! Oh, picked your own adventure here! Which way do I want the... Which way do I want the... Future to go. It's like the multiverse. Uh, huh? I've lost my fucking mind. Just listen, I have to learn magic. I don't know where else to start, so I'm asking you. What are you talking about? That's a that's a classic. Or he says, uh, more caring. You've lost your mind? What about the people you killed? Yeah, I'll do everything I can to help. Just please don't tell anyone else. Oh my god. I... Stain. <laughs> I like this one because this sounds pretty crazy. Just a recap. I'm, I'm saying Stain. Oh, I'm sorry, Stain. I've lost my mind. Huh? I've lost my fucking mind. Just listen. I have to learn magic. And I don't know where else to start, so I'm asking you. <laughs> the bartender's is just like not having a good time. All right, all right. Okay. Breathe. Gain my senses. Beg Stain to teach me magic or I'll go cuckoo. Stain, please just be my teacher. I, I just, you fall to your knees and start begging him. 
Please, please, please teach me magic. I'll do anything if you just give me the knowledge of using magic. I'm begging you, sir. Stain. <laughs> Should I offer him? He twisted my nipples earlier and got a kick out of that. Should I offer him my nipples? Oh, uh, no, I'm just going to let it play out. If some, if anyone joins in randomly, I'm sorry, I can't. There's no explaining this. Stain doesn't know what to say. You've caught him off guard. I don't know how to teach you magic. You have to have some ideas. If, if we have to remember anything, can we, can we, can we, can we pin this for later reference? The, the insanity plea? I like this. Uh, uh, okay, here we go. Bam. Um. I, I genuinely don't think Stain knows any magic, so I don't know if I'm going to get anything from him. But I'm still playing the insanity card. Um. Uh. Ask. Stain to hold me. <laughs> hold me. If you won't hold me. Hold and care for me. Oh, teach me magic. Hit him with the ultimatum. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Stain? Stain pulls you, pulls you up and holds you close to him. I'll teach you the art of it. And yes, yes, I just said it's the art of summoning and sending out powerful magical effects. I just. I just had to get into his heart, find a way to know the real stain, open up to him so he will open up his knowledge to me. Thank you. Thank you. You, uh, what, what would I, what, what can I even say to him? You. Uh, going to be a wonderful teacher. Stay. There we go. Yeah. I. What, what is my quest here? I, I. I realized I was trying to make people happy, and now I love. Stain seems to realize you actually want to learn, so he takes you out back of the tavern to a garden. He shows you an assortment of plants he uses for magic. I I let, can we do a time skip and then we'll like see if we can actually cast a spell and then like challenge him for the mastership that that can be our summary here um train with stain on the what's the on the advanced uh on the advanced studies of magic and enchantments. There we go. Maybe, maybe we're gonna you just skip right here. Right now, I just kind of feel like scared. Stain is teaching you about plant communi- Well, I mean, I guess a druid or whatever. Plant communication. You're trying to talk to a flower, but so far it's unresponsive. Stain suggests that you try something easier, like a fan. Um. Uh, uh, talk to the fan. Tell the fan <laughs> I killed a man today. Is if this makes it talk? Yeah, no, this is going. This is going mind-blowingly good. You talk to the fern using all your charm and eloquence. You try and strike up a conversation. Fern remains silent and unmoving. You're not sure why. Not sure this is going to work out after all. 
Okay, I think I don't think Stain knows how to use magic. I think he just had a crazy jester come into his bar and beg him how to use magic and just was like, you know what? If I could just convince him that talking to plants is real. I, I, no. I I can't I can't not believe Stain would lie to me. Oh, I can't I don't know if I worded that right. I, I'm here for you squat down to the fern and try and be as sincere as you can. Hey, fern, if you like me, then please move. If not, well, then I guess we aren't gonna get along. I... I don't, I don't know if... I... Everything here seems like it's gonna... Do. Okay, uh, the fern remains still and silent. You're not sure what to say. You can feel your charisma points falling as you lose the will to live. <laughs> no. No, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose this adventure to a fern. I don't know. Okay. Come on. <sighs> um. Uh, I can't. Bolster? What confidence I have left. And. What, what, what do you call it? Is magical effects, wonderful teacher. Did, did he just say talk, talk to flowers? Plant communicate. Yeah, yeah, plant can. Bolster what confidence I have left and demand the burn speak to me or I'll cut it. The, the violent tendencies. Here we go. Bam. You begin to panic. But then you remember you're a fucking level 30 sorcerer who can command entire armies with the flick of a wrist. You bolster your own com- Okay, I, I must be crazy because I, I realize I'm probably not that. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me finish this. You bolster your own confidence while intimidating the shit out of the- Huh? Is it working? Have I just been disillusional for- Thinking I'm just a silly j gesture? Oh, wait, there's only one way to find out. I'm not gonna lose to this uh, fern. I will get this thing to. I will speak to a plant! Use magic to make. Oh, that's right. Make the fern talk! Oh, here we go, here we go. Use dark magic. Yes! Oh, I said that! Oh, no, we gotta back up. Oh, no. Actually. Oh, Doozy. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. oh God. It said blood flows from the plant. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Use dark magic to make the bird speak. Here we are. You pull out your dagger, focused on the fern. Speak! You say, your eyes staring at the fern. The fern begins to rustle, as if it was moving. Here we are, this way. Yes! Speak! Oh no, hold on. I can't take a call right now. I demand it. Yeah, but... <laughs> this... This is the achievement. This is, this is what we've been fighting for. The fun rustles even more. And a small voice emanates from it. Aye. The small voice says. I'm Pern. The small voice says. What do you want? Uh... Well, well, Fern, 
<laughs> I didn't think I'd actually get this far. Y you know, I'm doing a school project and this is the last step you explain. This is lame. Why am I talking to a... I, I don't understand what's happening here. We're gonna... We're gonna try and... Um, Oh, yeah, you pull out your dagger and cut the front. Boys, uh, I'm gonna be honest here. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to lose. Uh, it was a good run. We've learned stuff this stream, but I think maybe the uh, whole event of trying to uh, speak to a fern in a dungeon AI for probably over 10 minutes Probably doesn't make for the best content. So I'm going to tell you right now. We're going to end it all with going after our boss. Our master, Stain. Let's let's finish this once and for all. Leave the fern. And look for Stain. Alright. The final boss. My... My great master. You leave the fern and look for stain. After 30 minutes of talking to the fern, you decide to give up. Realize that you're way into over your head and decide to abandon your studies. Find stain. I need to challenge him. You find stain. Good. You find stain who seems to be happy to have been expecting you. He knows. He knows. Oh, oh, thank you, Remy, by the way. I've just kind of been watching a... You have to... Couch, no. No, I don't want to... I want to talk about the ferns. Okay, you find Stain, who seems to be been expecting you. So, did you learn anything from the fern? Yes. Was it easy? No. I learned that... I... I... I want, if I want a plant to speak to me, I have to conjure dark magic and start going crazy. But hey, you know what? That's training. What? Okay. Let's. We get. We gotta cut. Cut the. Cut the shit here. Tell. Stain to cut the shit. It's time. You to find out who's the strongest fern speaker of them all. Yo, I know there's a lot of you on the edge of your seats to find out. Okay, then. Okay, let's get on with it. You draw your blade and point it at Stain. Are you ready to die? You ask. I'm ready to live, Stain responds. I'm the villain of the story. I, I hate it, but I... Uh, scream. For the fern. And lunge at Stain. Blade at the ready. I'm, I, I can't go straight for a kill shot. I, I'm, I, I couldn't do that to him. You, you scream and pull the trigger. Wait, what? There's a blast of fire hit stained in the chest, sitting and flying. Fuck! Fuck, he yells, rolling to a stop. What, what did I say? All the, no. All the, can we get a. Can we get a redo here? Hold on, I'm sorry. There, I pulled out a gun. Yeah, my, my apologies. Here we go. Uh, 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 climax still here. With the momentum. Attack. Stain. 
with my blade. There we go. Simplify it. We don't have to scream anything. We know we're fighting over ferns. It doesn't have to be said. It's that it's the unspoken bond between master and apprentice. You lunge forward and attack Stain with the knife. You strike his heart, but Stain is faster, looking your blade wide and stabbing you through the chest. Oh no! You gasp before collapsing on the floor dead. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, stay! Stay! Oh god! Hold on, Will. Will, I'm gonna cheat here. Cheat at the dying. I want a, I want a last word here. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, didn't see that. Here we go. Uh. uh cough. A blood and look with great sorrow into young my master stains eyes. Tell him I'm sorry. Tell him I wish I could have been a better pupil. Oh, I need a haircut. This is such. I wasn't ready for an end like this. Oh, oh I'm sorry, Master. You say, coughing up blood. <laughs> oh God! Oh. I'm sorry. I wasn't better. Sorry, I. I die. I die. Not knowing. My master's last apology. I die knowing it's my fault. Um. Uh, scraps. Corpse. Explodes. Violently. The, the story's over, boys. Alright, but uh, either way. Uh, seriously, what the fuck? Congratulations, you reached a crappy ending to this crappy little text adventure game. What the fuck? <gasps> no! <laughs> no! It's calling me out! Oh my, I know it wasn't great! My master tried to teach me how to talk to a plant! I blame this game! Um. Uh, this game blows ass. You made me talk to a fern. Okay, um, I believe, uh, I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. Fucker. So, I, I, I believe it's time for me to start wrapping up. I'm glad everyone could join me. Uh, I, I don't know what it is. My God! It's, has anyone seen this game? You're... You're just fucking text on a screen. You dipshit. What? What? Okay, um, I think, I think it's over. All right. It's a beautiful, awful, no, no, okay, it was, it was a rough, we got to test some things. 
We had to find out my mic needed to be louder. Um, uh, in summary, um, uh, what, what am I doing? Hold on. I should. Oh, oh God. Oh God. I, I don't know if, oh my God, I keep moving that. There we go. Ah. Uh. AI, uh, oh wait, hold on, I've got a message here, hold on. Alright, yeah, it's time to wrap up. Thank you for, uh, watching whatever that was, um, it's time, it, time for me to skedaddle, um, whenever, uh, boss man would like to pause it off and tell them thank you all for watching this, um, me talk to myself for an hour and read. It was a very unique time. All right. Either way, thank you all for joining. Uh, couch, everyone, for the uh, great conversations. But I suppose it's time to tell the going. Um, all right. Deuces, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy the next stream, which I... Uh, please, an Emerald Herald. And uh, make sure to follow. Smash that like button. Eat, eat my ass. And those is boys.